four construction sites projected to yield more than 700 apartment units to meet the housing needs of the local workforce and low-income households have broken ground in the San Fernando Valley and are slated for completion between late 2024 and early 2025. On Wednesday, February 8, State Treasurer Fiona Ma, Los Angeles City Council member Bob Blumenfield, and Rob Fisher, from Mayor Karen Bay's Office of Economic Development, joined others at one of the sites, Sincon Canoga, for a groundbreaking ceremony. The development, at 1719 Canoga Avenue in Canoga Park, will feature 221 bedroom apartments. It's near the Metro G, Orange, bus line and about a half mile from the Westfield Topanga Shopping Mall. It's one of four transit-oriented, multifamily housing communities being built by Alliance Strategic Development that, collectively, will add 727 attainable and affordable rental units to the Valley's housing stock, according to Alliance founder and chief executive, Eddie Lauren. 80% of the units will serve what Lauren called the missing middle, middle-class Angelinos, including educators and first responders, who don't qualify for affordable housing but can't afford luxury rental units that many developers in the area are building these days. The remaining 20% of the units, or 146 units, will be rented to low-income tenants, Lauren said. Half of the 146 will go to tenants who make just 50% of the area's median income. The other half are reserved for households earning just 30% of the median income. The projects come at a time when the city is facing a housing affordability crisis that many say must be addressed to prevent more people from falling into homelessness. The other three projects underway by Alliance Strategic Development are dependent on Topanga, which will include 149 apartments ranging from studios to two bedrooms on Topanga Canyon Boulevard in Canoga Park, Vose, a 332-unit project also ranging from studio to two-bedroom apartments, in Van Nuys. The developments are being financed through bonds purchased by private companies and issued by the California Municipal Finance Authority and California Housing Finance Agency, according to Lauren.